they made serious allegations that cases are assigned selectively to the bench or benches of their church that I want to put it within court. Their church, not his church. Not the choice of the Chief Justice. There. He, 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 what, who is there? Therefore, it is some external power or some agency. That is what the four judges said in the letter. The benches of their preference, the word used, I think, whether you have seen that letter in the, it is available in social media. If you, if you, or live law, you go to the Google and type live law, it is also, you can find it, where that seven page letter says, the benches of that choice, that preference. The, it is a very serious allegation. They said the sensational and the national importance, the cases of national importance are assigned to the benches headed by junior judges and that is not the convention and the roster is not strictly followed. Arbitrarily such assignments are made and uh, that, that was brought to the notice of the Chief Justice uh, two months back by this letter. He did not do anything on 12-1-2008. Why they met the press on that day? It was the assignment of a public interest litigation relating to the mysterious death of Mr. Loya, a district judge, not justice, he, is not a, he was a district judge in the CBI court in Mumbai. He died at uh, Nagpur when he went to a uh, marriage. He was uh, hearing a Sorab, uh, what is that, Sorabuddin case, Sorabuddin Sheikh encounter case. He was conducting trial in which Mr. Amit Shah, the president of the ruling party at the center was one of the accused. That PAL, that the fam, uh, that I will come to a little, little bit later. That was the immediate reason. That one of the judges said that was the immediate reason for coming out openly to the press. In the morning, we met the Chief Justice. We pointed out to him that you kindly uh, remove from that his roster. It is not proper, but he did not listen to us. Therefore, we have no option except to come to the press was uh, their uh, statement made in the press. Only thing now I am giving more explanation, that's all. You could not have followed it. Uh, then the, they also said, why we come? After 20 years or so, the people of India would make allegations. We also collaborated with the Chief Justice because we are the top four next to Chief Justice. They said that we have a complicity with the Chief Justice in carrying out these types of uh, orders being procured. And therefore, we have to come out, we have no other option, there is no other remedy available to us. We, uh, and uh, that, that is the reason for coming out. And they did not give the details of those cases. They said there are a lot of cases of national importance are assigned to benches of their preference. Therefore, there are two types of accusation. One is that. That means whose preference that. Who is that? We don't know. Therefore, it's a presumed now articles have come. Now a lot of debates are going on. In all the media, print media as well as in the televisions, now debates are going on. In fact, uh, as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned, I, I, I think my article was the first one in Deccan Chronicle they, they, uh, on this issue. On the 14th, 12th it this happened, on 14th, I wrote an article, the 15th is holiday, 16th, all uh, magazines carried articles on that, Hindu, Times of India, Express, everything, everybody, now still the debates are uh, going on about, uh, the, uh, 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 about the seriousness, one, one, one section of people says they could not have come to press, it is a lack of propriety, other section, I think I belong to that section, don't uh, look into the propriety, look into the substance. Because the, the allegations are true. That is a deep rooted. And uh, the going to, uh, that it goes to the root of the uh, democratic polite system itself. Therefore, you cannot, uh, it's an unprecedented one. 
four, four of them says benches are fixed for particular outcome of the case. If such an allegation are made by the top four, they are the collegium. I am not going into that. They, they decide on most of the matters. Therefore, if they say such an allegation, that has to be seriously looked into it. I think that is the predominant view. In, in fact, Karan Tapa wrote in, on 16th, uh, it, it has to be, the substance has to be looked into. Sen Gupta wrote, well, even in Lakshmi Narayan and Times of India wrote, both Sen Gupta and uh, Karan Tapa in Hindu, all paper, mostly, even this Acharya, Mr. Acharya wrote uh, in uh, Hindu. Uh, though he said uh, some, uh, some initially about propriety, he said the issues raised are very substantial. Therefore, the issues has to be looked into. If there should be a debate why this has happened and uh, find out and uh, remove that uh, melody, is the issue now, now being talked? Otherwise, even such a talk is prohibited. We will be hauled up for contempt. You say something against the Supreme Court. Now, just uh, the, the four judges, they said, you debate. In fact, that is the meaning they said when the press asked them, do you propose uh, any further action against Chief Justice of India? We leave it to the people. We let the people decide. How the people will decide? People will decide after debating the issue. What is the debate? This is the debate. That they, they, we, uh, therefore, in my article I said, I requested the four judges to come out with all the details. They said, we are not giving the details. We wrote the letters. We wrote the letter in which we expressed our grievance that this is the pattern. Now you are adopting, you are changing this. Uh, we are not disclosing the details. If we disclose, that will affect the entire system. They said, I don't think that they should be now revealed to the public in what are all the cases of public importance allotted in, a, in an uh, uh, irrational manner to the preferred benches shall be uh, made known to the public. You should know their debate. Therefore, they, have, they asked whether CJI should be impeached. Mr. Chalameshwar said, Justice Chalameshwar, it is left to the people to decide. Therefore, if he himself thought it is of that magnitude. You know, impeachment is a removal. It has to be done by the parliament. That is the only way. No other person can remove a sitting judge of High Court or Supreme Court because the independence of judiciary is the basic structure of the Constitution. And uh, we, can, we have to independently decide the issues without fear or favor. Therefore, such a safeguard is given. But that safeguard is misused. It has to be it has to be dealt with by the people, it has to be, no, it, it should, the entire facts shall come to the public domain for discussion. Now, about the 20 years back, I don't know what uh, Mr. Chalameswar and uh, three other says, after 20 years, people will blame us unless we come to, uh, uh, before the public and meet the press and uh, divulge this information. I, in this, at this juncture, I like to draw some parallel. What I, I hope, except a few faces, the, most of you could not have born during emergency. You could have only heard as a history. India faced an emergency during 1975. I was a student at that time. Indira Gandhi regime declared internal emergency, invoking constitutional provision, suspending the fundamental rights. For fundamental rights are suspended. The most important right among the fundamental rights is Article 21. Article 21 has two facets. One is right to life. Another is personal liberty. That both right to life and personal liberty, whether it can be suspended. Particularly, personal liberty means that at that time, MISA, it was called the Maintenance of Internal Security Act, MISA, a draconian law, of preventive detention was enacted and persons like Jai Prakash Narayan and others were put in jail without trial. And uh, it was something like when Thirumurvan Gandhi, Valarmadi and Seeman were put under this Gundas Act, a preventive detention law, you approach the court under Article 226 of the Constitution, before Supreme Court under Article 32, you lay a petition under, uh, and it is called, uh, that petition is called habeas corpus. They are, you are questioning the legality of the detention. The state has to 
disclose to the court on what grounds he is detained, how the detention and the preventive law is uh, just and necessary. But during emergency, it was argued you cannot even file a case because it is beyond the scrutiny. Now the fundamental right under Article 21 is suspended. Article 21 says not that you cannot be hanged. You, you can be hanged after a trial, after a sentence. You can be put in prison. You can be put in prison by way of a preventive detention, but it should be as per law. That has to be tested before a court. A hanging is given by a district judge. It can be tested before high court. It can be tested before Supreme Court. During emergency, Article 21 also suspended. That case is called a hit famous case. We call it a ADM Jabalpur. Here, a district magistrate, additional district magistrate, a IAS officer, collector. That the ADM Jabalpur, we call habeas corpus. We either you put in Google, this a constitution bench decided that Article 21 is suspended. Case cannot be entertained about the legality of preventive detention of these thousands of people in jail. And uh, only one judge dissented. That judge was uh, Justice H. R. Kanna. And he said the Article 21 can never be suspended by any region, anybody, because it is not the right given or by the, any government. It is not the constitutional right. It is a natural right. That is what he said. A, a person now is born, is born with a right to life with the right to uh, live and also he has a personal liberty that can be taken away by state only in accordance with the law. If, if the whether in accordance with the law or not can be tested even during emergency. Other rights under Article 19, right to free speech and expression, free, uh, assembled peacefully and all those rights can be suspended. Not Article 21 was the dictum laid down by a major, minority judge, his only judge, H.R. Kanna, and all four judges held so, held otherwise, and two among them, and Justice Bhakavadi later became Chief Justice, Justice Chandrachud, he also became Chief Justice, both of them were among the four judges who held Art Article 21 cannot be held uh, during the emergency. After emergency, these two judges, they came public and they said, we were under threat. We were under fear. Therefore, due to pressure, we wrote the, such a bad judgment by mistake. Uh, uh, regret or uh, apologize, something they said. And that is how now I want to see the statement of these poor people. After 20 years, we cannot be blamed for something wrong, some rotten thing that had happened in Supreme Court. We were also party. We were also collaborators. We connived with them. That is what they have stated in the press conference and I for the completion, you know what happened? HR Kanna was superseded because of his dissent judgment. Therefore, he resigned and his statue is there because we celebrate him for his bold decision during emergency. And uh, well, to that extent, now, it, uh, now the latest nine judges bench decision in right to privacy, all you could have heard. It's a unanimous judgment of nine judges in right to privacy case. Now, after 40 years, I think 42 years, they said Kanna is correct. <laughs> now, the nine judges have said, Justice Kanna is correct. We overrule. It is an irony. The son overruled father. The Chandrachut son wrote the judgment for uh, all the judges, uh, it's a unanimous view. But uh, I think uh, five judges, uh, he write a judgment. And that judgment, he said, he did not say my father, that Chandrachut is wrong, he said. Therefore, uh, now it, it resembles like emergency. The four judges coming open and saying that democracy in danger. We are not saying, not only we are saying, I, I may say, not only we are saying, now the judges have joined us saying democracy is in danger. Now, even the highest court manipulations are done for a particular result in a case and uh, the, without declaration of emergency. That is uh, most dangerous. If there is a declaration of emergency, one day it will be revoked. If it is an undeclared emergency, 
the persecution continues but there is no emergency at all and if, if this is the crisis i want to indicate